Hi crafty friend, it's Justine. Today I'm so excited because this is my first card using the Country Road collection and I'm going to use two dies from the collection on this card. So the first one I'm going to use is this Country Wheelbarrow. So that's all of these dies. And then to add some flowers into the wheelbarrow itself, I'm going to use the Rustic Garden dies. Now, of course, I'm not using all of these because that's a lot, um, but I'm just using some of the little flowers. So let's just jump right in. This collection from Annie Williams and Spellbinders is just darling. And because it has that country feel, I thought it would be kind of fun to pull out this die. Now, this is the Punch and Pierce Borders that was a club subscription item from Spellbinders for April. Now, if you don't have this one and you want to remake this card, you can certainly use some other Punch and Pierce um, frames or backgrounds. I don't think that this is on the Spellbinders website right now, but there are some other Punch and Pierce borders and pieces that would just be fine as well that would give a similar look. But I just really think this looks so pretty with the lace. So let's just dive right in. I'm going to assemble the background first and then let's work on the wheelbarrow. So to adhere that together, I'm going to grab my tape runner. And recently I picked up, I guess in April, so like a month ago, I picked up from the sale that Spellbinders had some tape runner and it's their brand tape runner and I just really think it's great. <laughs> so I have been trying to use up my other tape runner just to kind of, you know, use what I have first before I kind of go all into that. But I have so many of these. It's kind of embarrassing how many of these I have. But my craft store had a sale, so, you know... <laughs> It's just what happened. Now that my background is complete, I can go ahead and start building my wheelbarrow. So to do that, I'm going to just use some Barely Art liquid glue that I have in this little bottle and just start adding pieces. Now I am looking at the inspiration picture for this, just so I can make sure I put everything in the right spot but you're basically just building a wheelbarrow. It's nothing too crazy. So if I could put it together, so can you. <laughs> but this back piece here isn't essential because I'm going to be putting flowers in, but I'm still gonna put it there just in case a little peek of it shows. And I'm actually gonna tape it. And I'm gonna tape it because if I need to stick any flowers behind that spot I want to be able to tuck them in and I'm using the best ever craft tape from Spellbinders just a, a little craft tape there so you know I can still stick a flower back there and of course it's a little high so good thing I didn't glue it because I need to move it down I want that line at the top here to line up with the edge of the wheelbarrow like so we have it all right now let's work on the wheel and the spokes this wheel is definitely a unique style of die because you put one piece behind to kind of make the wheel look more like it's a wheel and not just a little spoke area so this is going to go over like that okay and then the next piece, this side, is going to go like that. It's going to line up the spokes here with these little knobs. So I think I'm going to put glue on this black piece again and then just kind of pounce it on the cream. Now, I don't even know why I used cream for the wheel. I just thought it was a little softer, I guess, than... Um, black <laughs> because the background is kind of a kind of girly delicate card and it's got a, a thing of flowers in it so I didn't think it needed to be harsh but now that I'm looking at the cream 
not really liking the color so I think I might pull in some Copic markers and make the cream a light gray just changing it up <laughs> because I think that kind of gets lost you know okay I'm going to grab C7. It's a pretty dark Copic marker and just quickly give that a little color. All right, next I'm going to put on this piece. I don't really know what to call it, but this piece. <laughs> so I'm going to add that to the front. It kind of connects the basket part of the wheelbarrow to this wheel area. So I'm going to put some glue on the top and then on the pieces that look like little golf clubs. <laughs> and looking at this i'm going to line it up with the line top line of the wheelbarrow which puts the little golf clubs almost right above the holes that are for the spoke of the wheel wait it wouldn't be the spoke the spokes of the wheel are the, the pieces going out i'm pretty sure for the axle of the wheel. I'm a mechanic, <laughs> not. Okay, and then this little piece I suppose was supposed to be glued on first, so I'm gonna put that, just squeeze it under before the other glue dries. Just, this is the reality of crafting, you know, making mistakes. This little wheel part goes behind on the wheel itself, right in the center, and then it goes it gets lined up with the hole and then it's off to the side so it kind of gives that shadow look right there so now that my wheel is all set I'm gonna put the axle going through it like that and then glue the axle on now I am gonna put some glue on the back of the front piece because it's going to kind of get tucked in there and then right in front of the hole on the back piece. And that is where the axle is going to be. So let's see if I can get this on. <laughs> okay, so here we go. There's the front. I'm gonna give it a little pinch. And then I gotta quick sneak my wheel on before I put the other side into the glue. That side is secure. Sure it is. <laughs> Pops right off. Cool. Okay, right there. <laughs> Let's just sneak this wheel on before this is like a train wreck. <laughs> now that my wheel is all set, I am going to just tuck a little bit of glue on the back of here just so the wheel the wheel doesn't wiggle too much and it gets set into position like so Ta -da! okay so let's put some flowers in this wheelbarrow when die cutting out all these pieces I basically just die cut out some light dark and some light medium and dark green colors I just pulled all of these little pieces I pulled all the colors from my scrap area so nothing is you know too fancy here all right now I am ready to put the flowers into my wheelbarrow you can see I did die cut out several of the flowers some of them are layered just to give a little dimension like you can see there but you know nothing fancy here I just grabbed these greens and red from my scrap area okay I'm going to tuck these in and then I'm going to kind of glue as needed but I don't think that these are going to I don't want to be too fussy with placement I think I am actually going to glue some here just so it has something to stick to but 
kind of keep everything light and not pinch anything too hard just in case I want to wiggle and fuss with placement. I would never do that. I'm pretty satisfied with the placement of all the greens and the two red flowers here. So let's add the flowers on. Now some of the greens have these circles and that's kind of for some flowers to rest on. Now I just put some glue on there but I don't think I have enough flowers to put a flower on every one of those. So I'm going to also add in these little circles that are supposed to be for the centers of the flowers and just kind of put them scattered as well because it will kind of be like a little bud or at least we're going to pretend that that's what it is. <laughs> but these flowers are so cute and they're definitely going to be the star of the show here. And this part I'm just going to snip off because I don't want it to cover up that red flower because I think that that's really pretty. So that's just gonna, just gonna go away. <laughs> it's kind of the fun part about crafting is you can kind of make those decisions for your project and maybe on the next project you'll do something else. I love pulling out old dyes from my stash and seeing what else I can do with them and try to make them something new which is why I pulled out this one. This is certainly not old at all, but I really like the girly and lacy look that it has. So I did not want it just to get warehoused in my craft room. And I just wanted to pull it out once again. There's kind of a tendency to kind of be looking at the next exciting thing which is so fun and easy to do because <laughs> a lot of these card companies have awesome stuff that's released pretty consistently but it is also fun to shop your stash so i just like to encourage you to do that especially if um, your funds are not readily available for buying once and you're more focused on needs or you know, maybe you're saving up for something, look in your own craft room, put on videos like maybe like this one and just have fun, craft with me, but you don't have to use exactly what I'm using. So I don't want you to feel pressured. Okie dokie. Now that my wheelbarrow is all set, I do wanna just show you what the wheelbarrow would look like if it was going the other direction, you can see that it is just a little bit bigger than the four and a quarter, so it's probably about four and a half inches. Let's just use my lovely grid here. Yes, it's about four and a half inches wide, so therefore I am going to make it a landscape card. So I did not plan ahead for this one, so I have no sentiment stamped. This stamp set is just adorable. It has very cute little greetings all over it. So you can kind of take a look here. There's some seasonal stuff. There's just some everyday things like birthday welcome, etc. And I just think I'm going to keep it pretty neutral with this card and use the just for you stamp. So I'm just going to grab some white scrap here that I have and some versifying ink to stamp it out. Ooh, this just for you. It looks like it would fit nicely right here. Or do I want it off to the side and the bottom? I don't know. I'm feeling very indecisive today. I'm kind of learning some things about my own brain recently. And yeah, it's been interesting. I'm going to use the large ones because why not? It's kind of a large mm -hmm. wheelbarrow. I don't think I need my tweezers for this. It's not that serious. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. Me and my squeaky chair. I'm still not really loving the placement for my sentiment. I think I'm going to center it 
on the bottom here, but I'm also going to put some red paper behind it. Because I feel like if I just put it down like this, it would get totally lost in the white background. So let's get some red and I will show you what that looks like when I'm done trimming it. I think that looks much better. I just used a little scrap here from my red drawer. Not a big deal. And I think I will pop up the sentiment as well because why not? A little dimension. It's always fun to add dimension to cards. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Mother's Day weekend is coming up. So if you are a mother or a mother figure, happy Mother's Day to you. I am so sorry if you are someone who struggles with Mother's Day with maybe either the loss of a mother figure in your life or struggling with infertility or anything like that. I am so sorry. You are certainly in my thoughts and prayers because I can only imagine my... <laughs> My life without my mom would be pretty awful. She is fabulous. Anyway, this is a look at the finish card. I do think that the pearls add a lovely little finishing to this card. So I'm certainly happy that I picked these up in April. But anyway, if you're interested in any of the products I used in the video, I will have some of them, most of them linked in the description. Again, I don't think that the Punch and Pierce Borders this lacy piece is available on the Spellbinders website currently, but if that does change, I will add it. But in the meantime, I will add something that is similar. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day today. And if you are picking up this wheelbarrow, I want to know what you were putting inside of it because there are tons of things that you can put in it, like Easter eggs, hearts, shamrocks, stars. There's a whole die set here let's just pull it out to show you but you can put all these things in the wheelbarrow and it's just so cute oh and of course the vegetables and presents bows that's for the present bell pepper a tomato a star this star is so cool I'm gonna be making a whole card with basically just these stars and pumpkins gourds so it's just a cool die set and I think that Annie Williams did a really fun job, a really good job putting together something like this, of course with spellbinders, but um, just to make something that's really versatile because you can use this for so, so many different holidays and um, make a lot of different style cards. So stay tuned on my channel for more with this collection. And if you've liked this card today, please go ahead and hit the like button on this video. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and get crafting. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.